Hi, this is Arun Patwarzan, and welcome to today's session on recording your Mac and iPhone screen. Today we're going to learn how to record the different activities and tasks that we perform on a Mac or an iPhone using the QuickTime Player. Before we go ahead, here's a quick checklist. If you want to record your Mac screen or your iPhone screen, you need a Mac running Mac OS 10.10 .10 or later. In fact, you could even do this on an older version, but it's good to have a recent version. Similarly, for iPhone or an iPad, you need iOS 7 or later. To record your iPhone screen or your iPad screen, you need a lightning cable. It comes packaged along with your iPhone or iPad. And you need QuickTime Player on your Mac, which is a free built-in application. With this checklist ready, let's go ahead and see how we can record our screen. So I've started a screen recording. In fact, this video that I'm creating is an actual demonstration of how we can use QuickTime to record what I'm doing on the screen. In this case, I'm recording the entire screen. So there is a stop button also, which I can click to stop the recording when I wish. Now, if I want to do a screen recording, just to show you, I just launched QuickTime and I click on new screen recording. In this case, it's grayed out simply because we already have an active recording going. To get a new movie recording done, I simply click on new movie recording, which brings a window up. And from here, I can choose what the source for my camera is. I can either use the built-in FaceTime camera, which will, if your Mac has a FaceTime camera built in, it will use that one. Or I would use uh, my iPhone screen, in which case, whatever is being shown on my iPhone will come up here. So this is actually a way in which I can record my iPhone screen. So I just have to click on record. And this will start recording my iPhone screen and any activity that I perform on the iPhone screen, for example, will be recorded. So this is me launching the App Store. I can bring up the weather. Let's see the weather. I can record a screen, any activity that I do on my iPhone or on my iPad and save it for later. So let's stop here for now. That's it. It's done. All I have to do now is show, save the file. So I'll save it as iPhone screen recording and I can save it either on the desktop or I'll save it in downloads for now. Close this. So to summarize, it's a new movie recording. Select your source, the camera that you're going to use. Select the source for your audio and the quality that you wish to have. So that's movie recording. And for audio recording, it's similar. You just go to audio recording. Again, it's only the source that you have to select with this the internal microphone, which is the microphone on my Mac or the microphone on my phone. So I can go in for highest quality, click record. And now this is simply recording the audio or everything that I'm saying. Click on stop. To check if everything's working fine, let's play. Click record. And now this is simply recording the audio or everything that I'm seeing. Click on stop. So that's perfectly recorded. And as you can see, let's save this one too. As you can see, it's now very easy to quickly create movies, record your screen activity, whether it's on your Mac or on your iPhone. In fact, one of the advantages of the iPhone screen recording through the movie is the fact that you can now easily connect your Mac to the projector and show what you're doing on the iPhone without really needing any special software or tools. So if your Mac is connected to the projector, 
you can quickly show your iPhone screen right on the projector through your Mac itself. And as I'm done with the video recording, I'll click on stop and that would end the video recording and offer me a similar option to save the video file.